You can apply number formatting to cells in several ways. Most people simply use convenient number commands found by the Home tab. By using these commands, you can quickly apply some default formatting, number, percent, currency, and so on, and just be done with it. But a better way is to use Format Cells dialog box in which you have the ability to create your own custom number formatting. In this worksheet I have two columns, date and sales. I'll highlight the first 10 cells from the sales column to apply basic number formatting. Right click a range of cells and then select format cells from the menu that appears. The format cells dialog box appears. Open the numbers tab and choose a starting format that makes the most sense for your scenario. The values are sales, so we could use a thousand separator. With a zero decimal places and enclose negative numbers in parentheses with red color. Click the OK button. You can clearly see the changes for these 10 cells. Now I'm going to highlight the cells from B11 to the end. Right click again the range of cells and select format cells from the menu that appears. Click the custom option. Excel takes you to a screen that exposes the syntax that makes up the format you selected. Here you can edit the syntax in the type input box to customize the number format. The number format syntax tells Excel how a number should look in various scenarios. Number formatting syntax consists of different individual number formats by separated semicolons. I'll click on this format. Here you can see two different formats, the format to the left of the semicolon and the format to the right of the semicolon. By default, any formatting to the left of the first semicolon is applied to positive numbers, and any formatting to the right of the first semicolon is applied to negative numbers. So, with this choice, positive numbers will be formatted as a simple number, whereas negative numbers will be formatted with parentheses. Note that the syntax for the positive formatting in the previous example ends with an underscore and a closing parenthesis. This tells Excel to leave a space with the width of a parenthesis character at the end of the positive numbers, which ensures that a positive and negative numbers align nicely with negative numbers and they are wrapped in parentheses. You can edit the syntax in the type input box so that the numbers are formatted differently. For example, try changing the syntax to the following. When this syntax is applied, positive numbers will start with the plus symbol and negative numbers will start with the minus symbol. Now I'll show you how to format numbers in thousands and millions. Highlight all the cells of the sales column. Right click and select format cells from the menu that appears. After the Format Cells dialog box opens, click the Custom option. Select this type. In your Type Input box, add a comma after the Format Syntax. After confirming your changes, your numbers will automatically appear in thousands of places. The beautiful thing here is that this technique doesn't change the integrity or truncate the numeric values in any way. Excel is simply applying a cosmetic effect to the number. Look in the formula bar to see the real, unformatted number. Custom number formatting has obvious advantages over using other techniques to format numbers to thousands. For instance, many beginning analysts would convert numbers to thousands by dividing them by 1000 in a formula. But that changes the integrity of the number dramatically. When you perform a mathematical operation into a cell, you are literally changing the value represented in that cell. This forces you to carefully keep track and maintain the formulas you introduce to simply achieve a cosmetic effect. Using custom number formatting avoids that by changing only how the number looks, keeping the actual number intact. 
If needed, you can even indicate that the number is in the thousands by adding K to the number syntax. Let's do it. Highlight the number of cells, right click on one of them, and select Format Cells. Beside the comma, add a K letter in double quotes. Click the OK button and look at the numbers now. Now, how cool is that? Need to show numbers in millions? Easy. Simply add two zeros and two commas like the number format syntax in the type input box. Then add an M letter like this. Press OK. Note that the use of an extra decimal places or .00 when converting numbers to millions is often useful to show additional precision points. The numbers we have are relevantly small to convert them into million, but you get the point. Custom number formatting isn't just for numbers. You can also format dates and times. Highlight the cells from A2 to A32. Open the Format Cells dialog box and click on the Custom Category. Date and time formatting involve little more than stringing together date-specific or time-specific syntax. The syntax used is fairly intuitive. For example, add DDD is the syntax for the three-letter day. MMM is the syntax for the three-letter month and YYYY is the syntax for the four-digit year. I hope you learn how you can apply number formatting cells in several ways. I want to thank you for watching this lesson, and I will see you in the next one.